doesn't live a week. Spring break, 2021. We made it. <laughs> Let's talk about Devil's Den. Yeah, great place. It's this underground spring that you can snorkel or scuba dive in, and it's located about two hours north of Orlando mm -hmm. in Central Florida, not too far from our house. And they have an RV park there. We camped overnight, and then we went first thing in the morning, the following morning. Right now, because of COVID, you have to get a reservation. And we had one from 8 to 9.30, and we were the very first ones there. Yeah, we had the whole place to ourselves. It was really beautiful. You go down into this cave and you can see the sunlight up above. So if you have a fear of enclosed places, I would say it's just fine for that. It's not gonna freak you out too much. And we saw a turtle swimming, but as soon as we got in the water, gone. Yep. he darted. A bunch of fish, big ones, little ones, middle-sized ones, all you, can, all you can see in there. The water was quite cold. How are you feeling about going swimming this morning? Why? Because I don't want to get cold. Yeah, I uh, I screwed up. I did the cardinal parenting sin. I told him the water was cold ahead of time. Should have let him figure that out on his own. It's 72 degrees year round, but that's still pretty cold water. Um, especially if you don't, I don't, I don't have a scuba outfit or anything. So I just went in my bathing suit and shirt. And I felt like my heart was stopping when I first got up to my uh, my knees. But you, you get used to it and then the fun just starts. Yeah, I had a wetsuit and I tried to convince Miles to get a wetsuit, but he didn't like it. He thought it was uncomfortable, but I had the last laugh there. Hey, would you would you do snorkeling there again? No, <laughs> too cold. Too cold. And I thought it was really pleasant. And um, it's great, you have to have a mask, a snorkel, and fins. Um, we had all of those. We did have to rent some fins for Miles that were the right size for his feet, but you can rent everything. Yep. Uh, very affordable. I want to say it was like twenty dollars for adults to snorkel and less for kids. I can't yeah, remember it was like the exact price. Yeah, for the whole thing wrapped up with hats, including the fins, including the fins, yeah, and everything. Yeah, and we bought a patch. Yeah. So yeah, a very good deal. Very beautiful place. Even the grounds around it were really lovely to walk around. Yeah, the campsite, the RV uh, site, they have, I don't know, we were in site number Lucky 13. I think there were like 20 sites. Yeah, and we had, you know, full hookups, water, sewage, electric, a lot of spider webs, a lot of interesting bugs everywhere because you're in the woods, basically. So if you uh, are don't like the camping, camping aspect, um, you might want to drive in from out of town. But it did the job and it wasn't that expensive either for, uh, for a night. No, it was very affordable but the spots are pretty tight to yeah. Derek's point. Now, we had a back in site, which I think is designed for a smaller camper than we had, because I booked it when we had our previous camper, which was significantly smaller than our current camper. But they also have pull through sp spots that were a bit more roomy, but we didn't do a very good job of measuring when we went to put out our slide. We like barely, barely yeah, missed. A millimeter or two. Uh, from a picnic table, which usually can move, but this one was bolted down. Apparently, there's some picnic table stuff <laughs> going around in Devil's Den that we don't know about. <laughs> Apparently. You can tell we're not used to having an RV with a slide out because look how close we got to this picnic table. <laughs> Yikes. We're not touching it though, so that's a win. I think it was really well worth the excursion and a great way to start our spring bank trip. Totally. Miles, what did you think of Devil's Den? It was middle. What does middle mean? It kind of got kind of bad. Okay, what was good? Everything except the cold water. And next, our ultimate destination is Arkansas and the Ozark Mountains. Um, but this is a great way to kick it off. Yeah, looking forward to going back to Arkansas. I was there 18 years ago for school, but it's been quite some time now. You know, have, don't, everything I'm sure has quite changed since, since those two decades. Well, we're gonna find out. Yeah. Can't wait. Today's been a 
really long drive day. It is 4.07 Central Time, um, but when we left, it was 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So we've been on the road about six hours now. Um, we have a little over two hours left, maybe two and a half hours left till we get to where we're going tonight in Alabama. Yeah, it doesn't help that I got my second shot from uh, the vaccine and it's making me feel a little under the weather these past couple days, so uh, it's uh, making driving a little bit harder. Well, mostly I'm doing the driving, yes. which is not the norm. Usually Derek does the majority of the driving, especially since we have a brand new camper that is much larger than our previous camper. It's been a good day, but a tiring day, and I think we'll be glad when we get to our stop for the night, which is a brewery um, somewhere between Montgomery, Alabama and Birmingham, mm -hmm. Alabama. Guys, check out our glamorous spot that we slept at last night. It is Walmart. Yes. We had originally planned to sleep at a brewery, but they were having a big St. Patrick's Day event and they were very sweet. They tried to squeeze us in despite the fact that they were extremely crowded, um, but we opted to just not do that. We came and we slept here with all of these trucks at Walmart um, and it was great. I ran inside, I grabbed a few groceries, we slept. That's all we really needed. I am adding Alabama. I think it's like a dish. It says a lot. Um, we're adding states to our new camper, the Passport, um, which is somewhat known as Pitchingham Palace. We're, we haven't decided we haven't on that decided name fully. yet. Um, we have filled in many of these states in our other camper, and our debate was, do we fill them all, which I believe, yes, because you've camped in each state, or do you do it all over again? which uh, Amanda is kind of on that side of the fence, but we'll figure it out as it comes yeah. along. So, so far we've only filled in what we've been to in this camper, but the debate is still out if we're gonna go back and retroactively fill in everything that we've done in yep. both of our campers. Mm -hmm. Most likely we'll fill everything in. <laughs> I think I lost because he went ahead and stuck all the stickers from everywhere we've been on our RV yeah, journeys yeah. thus far. And now we're gonna hit the road again for another day of traveling as we make our way up towards the Ozark Mountains, which is our ultimate destination for this trip. Mm -hmm. 